I've always been a firm believer in the hands-on approach in education. You can watch somebody do something, you can listen to them tell you how to do something, you can watch all the YouTube instructional videos you want, but until you actually get out there, get your hands dirty, and apply some of this stuff, you don't really know how well you picked up the concepts. So I came up with this idea, well I've been making a few instructional videos myself, so I, I don't I don't knock them. They're 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 a good way of getting information across. But while I was doing those videos, I kept thinking there there must be a better way to get for people to learn. So I came up with this idea for uh, project tutorials, where I come up with a project, a useful project, something that you can build and use, and I design it around and try to include as many uh, common machining practices in as possible. And then I provide the prints on my website so that you can follow the prints along as I build the parts from start to finish. I have a... there are like five videos in this series and each one of them takes a certain section of this project and I build, I build the parts from start to finish and as you follow along or as you build them yourself. Uh, there's nothing wrong with taking your, your, phone, your phone out in the shop and watching the video out in the shop as, as you make the parts right along with me. So that's the idea. Um, the first project I had in mind is what are called stack blocks. Um, they're used as spacers, uh, the same as step blocks are, except they're a lot more convenient because they're they're self-contained. You don't step blocks are two pieces and they're always falling apart or tipping over and they're kind of a pain to use. So uh, there are these these step blocks out there. I've never seen any for sale anywhere, but I've seen them in most every shop I've worked at, which is where I got the idea. Um, but they're real handy. Uh, here's a rotary table here. I'll, I can show you how they work. Basically, you just peel off the number of uh, layers you need to equal the thickness of your part. Throw it under the clamp and clamp it down. It's just that easy. You don't have to deal with step blocks, which are a pain in the butt. And uh, this is uh, this is something you'll use all the time. Every almost every time you use the milling machine, you'll need something like this. So this seems like a, a good place to start. Um, there are lots of operations involved in this in this project. Uh, there's there's uh, squaring up parts, there's uh, milling an angled surface, there's, uh, what else, sawing, there's saw out parts, uh, milling corner radii, All, most of the corners have, have radii milled on them, uh, drilling and countersinking, uh, there's a lathe part in here, there's shaft, there's uh, turning, there's turning to a shoulder, facing, center drilling, all kinds of operations. So I, th I think it's a pretty good beginner's project, and uh, it's not too difficult, especially when you got somebody might, like me guiding you through it. So if uh, you know if you want to give it a try, here's the prints. Um, it has a, a top plate. It has a here's the shaft I was telling you about. Prints are kind of marked up because I've already built a set of these. I built these from these prints. Uh, the middle plates, ten of those, uh, base plate. So if, you, if you're interested in this project, uh, these prints are available on my website, tomstechniques.com. Just buzz over there. You can download a PDF copy and uh, follow along. There's this uh, instruction or this uh, project tutorial contains um, five videos. I think the total running time is about maybe an hour and a half or so, maybe two hours at the most. So you can uh, follow along and build yourself something you'll you'll use a lot. Um, I made I made four you know four pairs of these. That's pretty handy. Uh, I if you, if you want to also I mean these are kind of small. If you want to scale them up, you know if you have a full size mill and you don't want you don't need the small ones like this for like this rotary table. You can scale them up. Here's some big ones I made. I probably made these 35, 40 years ago, and uh, they're still going strong. So, uh, if you think this might interest you, check into the website, download the drawings. There's a couple videos I recommend that you watch first. Grinding, turning, and facing tools for the lathe. 
and uh, also the one on cutting speed and RPM. You watch those two videos, it'll help you in this project. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there.